Good morning, Cyber Traders. Happy Friday, everybody. Finishing up our uh, first week of June. Good to see you. Good morning, Mark. Sylvia, good to see you. Grant, good to see you. Gene, Mark, Ken, everybody. Charlie, Chris, DJ. All right, guys. So it looks like we did pretty good so far in this uh, LJPC. I'm going to talk a little bit about it because of... Uh, I'll tell you the truth, I got shaken out a few times out of it, and I uh, wish I still had my first position on it. But we're going to talk about it a little bit and a few others. But once again, remember, it is Friday, and when there's Friday in the summertime, it's kind of slow. Uh, a lot of people want to uh, get ready for the weekend. Uh, a lot of people here in New York are probably hitting out in the Hamptons. Beautiful day here in New York. Big day tomorrow here in New York. We got the Belmont Stakes. Uh, I will be down there. Don't be shocked if you anybody watches it. You'll see me in the winter circle. I always kind of end up being down there. <laughs> I know a lot of people in the horse business. I got a phone call from Thinker Swim the other day. Text me. He says, Fausto, is that you in the winter circle? I thought you saw you there. And I'm like, <laughs> was, I'm like, yep, that was me. So have fun watching it. I'll be there on Saturday. But in the meantime, it's all about having making money today and uh, doing as a trader to enjoy it on the weekend. That's what it's all about. So, uh, so fast that you're up to horse play, huh? Yeah, a little bit, Mark. A little bit, you know. Especially, uh, you know, I'm, I'm always down for uh, big events. If it's a Formula One Grand Prix, if it's a Super Bowl, World Series, you'll see me here and there. I like uh, big sporting events. It's kind of fun. All right, but you know, once again, that's just my, you know, my, my, my cup of tea. Some people like to do, uh, you know, hunting. Some people like to fish. Some people like sporting events. Some people like to cook. Some people just like to go out to restaurants all day, so... Everybody has their, has, their, has their thing. You see me eat the $100 milkshake, right? <laughs> but that's what we work for, right? So anyway, let's go through the watch list because you know what? Yesterday actually was a really, really good day. And uh, there were a couple of stocks out there. First, I want to start off with the home trade. Home was probably the best trade yesterday. Uh, that stock was like right in the hours, right at af in the after hours. I mean, in pre-market, I had a great short on that one. And I held on to it. And uh, it was just a very easy, nice, slow mover. And it's just easier when you have a good position in the stock. I know, uh, Ken, I, I know you, you were in it also. But I held on to it uh, right into yesterday, right into the afternoon. And I did really, really well on that trade. I know some of you didn't. But you know what? You could have jumped back into it. But she wasn't, you know, let me tell you. She was a hell of a less, vo less volatile than LJPC right now this morning. I could tell you that. I looked at it this morning to get on a dead cat bounce. Um, I gave money a little bit back because it wasn't going anywhere. I just cut my losses. I took a very small loss on it because I thought it was going to get a little pop. I'm going to keep my eye on it, see if it's got a little bit of a dead cat bounce on it. But once again, remember, these, these kind of type of stocks, sometimes they don't come back. CLDR is another one that did really well, too. That one was a little bit faster, but uh, that one right out of the gate just tanked. Uh, the other home was a little bit easier. You know what's really uh, ups – well, there's a couple other ones we're going to check out. The, C uh, the CIEN, that was fun too yesterday. I told you that in, uh, in the morning watch list, though. Just be careful. you got to be a little bit more an advanced trader to trade that stock. Uh, that's like a level five stock, very fast moving. AMD did really good out of the gate. Uh, that one did pretty well. And the, the, the big, big runner, the big runner, which is what we're talking about right now, is the LJPC. So that one did phenomenal yesterday. That stock just literally came out of the gate from 6 all the way up to 11. Now it's already at 12.30. I'll tell you my big concern about this stock and why I got shaken out um, this morning a few times uh, is because you know me. You know what? Listen, we don't trust stocks that go from 5 to 12, up 100, 200%. You know what I mean? So you got to be really, really careful on these things. You know, we don't know if it's a short squeeze. It is a pharmaceutical stock. I think it obviously probably came out with a good drug. But um, still, regardless, whatever goes up comes down twice as fast. So just be very, very careful. We've seen stocks in the past. We want to, we want to trade stocks like this, but you got to also be very careful knowing um, always take a profit. That's what it's just meet your day's pay and just take your profit. So anyway, the LJPC is on the watch list. Uh, everyone saw the DocuSign this morning. That one's a great. That thing just took a huge dive from 55 to 44. Good pre-market trading. The biggest concern you guys got to watch out for this morning's, and this is, yeah, I know, Michael, and the Ferrari just broke all-time highs. So I want to bring that up. But that's more of a swing trade, the race. Okay, so that race obviously just broke all-time highs. So 
race is doing very, very well. Uh, you know, unfortunately, it's one hundred and fifty dollars. If you had it when, when when I called it out at when, when it went public and it was at sixty, you're doing pretty damn good. Uh, it, it had a really big, nice correction in the Christmas crash. Probably, probably the best trade uh, on, on the swing trade right there if you got it. But you know, once once again, you know, t buying power is hard. You know, like you don't want to tie up all your cash on one other stock. That's the big thing. But you have a couple of things, and you go from there. Yeah, you were you were in it at one fourteen or so, huh? I, I did, but you know what? I got out of it actually because I wanted to use my capital on something else. And one of one of them is I basically jumped in the uh, the Uber trade and. Back then, I was trading, which I want to talk about right now, is the PCG. So the PCG, if you remember, that one went from 6 all the way to 25. That was really our big winner. I want you to keep an eye on this because it might be a good swing trade on the PCG. I'll tell you why. The stock got destroyed because it took a lot of heat due to, the, due to that they were held responsible uh, regarding about the, the California fires. Well, a report came out that some guy made the fire by accident, something about he was using a hammer and he caused a spark, and that's what caused it. And you could see that PCG actually did really well the last couple of days. It went from 16, it's already at 21. So I would keep a close eye on this as a more of a swing trade if that rumor or everything takes, uh, does very well. Uh, BK, and also I want to talk, yeah, the BKS. So the BKS, obviously there was a buyout. I bought it this morning. I'm so upset with myself because I had it yesterday at 567 and um i sold it and i didn't really read the you know i didn't really do my due diligence on it that well but i should have probably it's probably a good stock that would have been a, a good hold overnight with that rumor came out when it was at 420 and uh i bought it this morning at uh, 657 i just got out of it but i bought you know i bought like almost like 4,000 shares of it so i did okay with it um but uh but it's done it's done i mean to stay away from it so that's basically we have to look at it. But like I said, I wish we still – these are things – you know, listen, there's one thing you always taught, never hold open eyes a day trader, but there's times when you have to. And, you know, sometimes, you know, with the news out, that's what you, what you have to look at. So we got the LJBC. We got the DocuSign. We got the EROS I want to put on the watch list. This stock um, took a huge hit, and I'm looking maybe on a dead cat bounce on it. You know, this one stock looked like it's making a little bit of a comeback. That one's okay, and the PCG. So the thing is this. It's not a lot going on this morning uh, other than the LJPC that made, uh, that's making a move. But be very, very careful, guys, on today's markets, okay? You know, one of the big things, and, and, there, and obviously beyond meats, but this thing is just an animal. This thing just does not want to stop. Holy cow, right? But very, very volatile. You need deep pockets for it. Big issue. You got to worry about the spread. Big, big thing. Got to watch out of it. But um, the Uber, oh, by the way, the Uber's actually, remember the Uber trade? Looks like, you know, if it holds here above 45 for a little while, the stock looks pretty good for us. I mean, I, I bought it on a swing trade, and uh, we own, I own it right around 39, you know, but it looks like that was great last couple of days. So anyway, doing pretty good. Jerry, I made $5,600. All right, let's give him a round of applause. <laughs> Way to go, Jerry! Nice. Nice. What did you What did you make it on? On on on. Uh, oh, Beyond Meat, you made it. That's great, man. Unbelievable. Listen, we're all get there. We're we're all. Gonna, it takes time. I told everyone, don't rush. Hey, good job. All right, so we got a good list. Listen, it's Friday. Be very careful on a Friday. Um, I would even be careful going into this open, you know. But listen, you see the big difference. When you're in the cyber group room, the best days to trade, the worst days to trade. You know what hump day is, days we're not. But it all starts by getting the right education, guys. So when we talk about this, you know, even though these morning meetings, it's all about, you know, getting the, getting the troops all rallied up. But, um, but you got to be there early. Early bird gets the money. And most importantly, you got to be doing your classes. Don't forget the classes are coming up. And, uh, you know, I know we got a, new, a lot of new members. We gave you a couple of samples of some trials. Now the next question is, do you want to do this moving forward? So... Hopefully, you guys look, listen, and learn. Be very careful today, guys. We'll see you back at 2.30 for the afternoon meeting. Uh, you see the jobs reports that weren't as uh, good as they expected for 75,000. And you know what's shocking about the – let me tell you before we go about the, the, about the jobs report, market really didn't react too bad to it. Seems like they were expecting it to be down, I guess, after the ADP numbers that came out. But listen, 
This is why we love the market, right? Way to go. Anyway, congratulations, Jerry. That is awesome. I love hearing great, uh, great stories like that. You know, that's what it's all about. Great for being a student, too. Good luck, everyone. See you back in the afternoon. Let's have a fun open.